ladies and gentlemen, friends and families, and health professionals. Today is 5th of August, 2022. I am Dr. Muhammad Adil from United Kingdom. I am fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons and have 25 years of unblemished medical record with a lot of contribution towards teaching, training, and research, at least 30 years in UK. I always believe on my Hippocratic Oath, which says, first, do no harm. I also believe on Nuremberg Code, which is against the atrocities of the Nazis for fatal and inhuman experiments on the public without their consent. And I also believe on Helsinki's declaration. When I raised all these concerns during early 2020, I was targeted and dismissed with suspension by the General Medical Council on 1st of June 2020 for the alleged four online complaints by anonymous members of the public due to my personal viewpoints of COVID-19 and its far-reaching effects on the public and the patient care and health system, which was not liked by the regulatory body. I had no clinical ethical probity social or health issue whatsoever. My suspension was further extended for another 12 months. On 26th of May 2021, for pending GMC inquiry, and my case was referred on 14th of June 21, to the Medical Professional Tribunal for decision. So it took me 12 months to wait for the Medical Professional Tribunal hearing, which took place last month from 13th of June, 2022, until 1st of July, 2022 in Manchester. During the trial, GMC failed to produce those four anonymous complainants who had lodged online complaints against me regarding my viewpoints of COVID-19 on the social media. Number two, GMC failed to produce those medical directors Dr. Jonathan Moose, Medical Director of the North Manchester Hospital, who dismissed me due to my viewpoint on COVID-19 on 22nd of April 2020, without any charge sheet, notification, or disciplinary procedure. It was totally unlawful and unfair dismissal. And GMC failed to produce another medical director, Dr. Neil Hepburn, medical director of the United Lincoln Shared Hospital Trust, who was also involved in dismissing me on 7th of May, 2020, because of my primary video on which I was dismissed in North Manchester Hospital when I went to do locum in Pilgrim Hospital, Boston. And he also did not follow 
the disciplinary procedure before dismissing me, but wrote to the GMC that he had no clinical concern whatsoever related to Mr. Adil's performance. GMC also failed to produce any proof, evidence, or any witness or survey to confirm that my videos on the social media regarding my viewpoint of COVID-19 have caused any harm to my patients, safety of the public, are brought disrepute to my profession. On these grounds, the Medical Professional Tribunal should have dismissed and squashed the GMC case altogether and should have reinstated me. But unfortunately, the Medical Professional Tribunal, which is a part of the GMC, pretends to be independent, but they are not independent. They work in collaboration with the General Medical Council. In the final determination, the chairman of the Medical Professional Tribunal wrote that Mr. Adil had no clinical or health issue whatsoever, but he is suspended for another six months because of the safety of the patients, which is totally unacceptable, unjustified, outrageous, unfair, discriminatory, and victimization in cohooting with the General Medical Council on personal basis to silence, keep me silence, and the other health professional. My case is listed in the High Court for the Justice, and the notice has been served to the GMC for unlawful suspension and dismissal for two and a half years, which has seriously damaged to me and my family, my career, my reputation loss of job, total loss of income and livelihood. It has seriously affected my family with a catastrophic, catastrophic effects on my children with psychological trauma, stress, compromising their education, well-being and livelihood. I need your moral and generous financial support to contest my case in the High Court for the justice. I trust on the High Court justice system in UK, and I am very hopeful that justice would prevail. Health professionals from ethnic minorities are considered to be the backbone of the NHS in UK in many ways, and their contribution should not be ignored or forgotten. According to the NHS, there are 10 million patients on the waiting list for their investigations and treatment, especially the cancer patients who have missed their opportunity for their investigations and treatment in the last two years due to COVID restrictions imposed on UK. NHS is having serious shortage of health professionals. More than 100,000 health professionals have resigned from the job because of dissatisfaction, lack of incentive, and encouragement, which has to be looked into seriously, which is neither good for the patients nor for the public. As a regulator, GMC duty is to register doctors and, on, and to appoint them on exchange basis, but they are exploiting the GMC Act 1983, which was designed 
for after the inquiry, which uh, one of the doctor was involved in giving morphine to the patients, but GMC is abusing his powers while sitting in a public office. They, it is neither helpful to the patients nor to the public at all. I would like to request to the higher authorities, government, public health England and judiciary to amend the long due GMC Act 1983, which has been terribly exploited and abused by the General Medical Council and the Medical Professional Tribunal. I trust my abilities and my contribution towards the medical sciences and the health services in UK and across the world. But unfortunately, my, my hands are tied to help out my patients at this stage. I will request you all to donate generously on the Just Giving page, which has been created by a company to help me to raise the funds for contesting my case in high court for justice. I'm most grateful that you have already been contributing, but we need more contribution to meet up all the expenses of the court and the uh, solicitors and the legal advisors. Thank you ever so much for listening to me. All the best. Bye for now.